to family fun every day. It's two new ways to play Tuesday, and today we're playing two new ways to play Jenga. <laughs> for this Jenga bowling challenge. Challenge number one is flip. Woo! Challenge number two is facing backwards. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. Challenge number three is... <laughs> Not that. Same as me. Challenge number quattro is... Standing tall, so you have it standing upright. Nice. <laughs> Challenge number five is spinning. Ooh. All right. Challenge number six is a long shot challenge from the counter. We're sliding the Jenga piece and not throwing it so our table doesn't get damaged. San e kaisu. Set. Go. Challenge number seven is brought to you by... <laughs> this challenge is going to be blindfolded. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. Hey, not bad. Challenge number eight is the finger push, kind of like a pool cue. <laughs> How did we get the one in the back and the one in the front? And in case you're wondering why my numbers look a little bit different, this is actually 6, 7, 8, and 9 in sign language. Challenge number 9 is the collision challenge. Hi! Bonus challenge, I'm going to be segueing us into our next way to play Django with the Django launcher. Alright, the second new way to play Jenga is what we like to call Jenga Launchers. Alright, so how you make a Jenga Launcher is you make a V with two Jenga pieces, hold it in your hand, and then put a third piece in between. This is going to be your ammo. You want to hold it loose or else it won't fire, it'll just sort of be stuck there. So, And you'll notice that Christian likes to hold his sideways, I actually prefer mine forward. So it just kind of is whatever looks best for you. On your marks, get set, go! First round. If you want to introduce a scoring system to play a game against one another, you can do various point settings for different types of towers, such as one point for every Jenga piece knocked over, or you can just do a fast round and do whoever knocks over the entire tower first. So we're going to play the lightning round, and the first one to knock over all of our Jenga pieces is the winner. Ready? Go. Yes! <laughs> that was a pretty quick round. That was so yes! Good job. Thanks for joining us for two new ways to play Jenga. We hope you had a great time. We know we did. And make sure if you did that you give us a thumbs up or you hit that bell icon down below. That's right. So we will see you next time. Have a great family fun time together. Bye. Bye.